Since 2012, the RVA Stray Art Festival has hosted an event with music, families, and local renowned works of art. The festival has returned to its birthplace this year as local artists were selected to paint over this past murals to give the scene more diversity and change. When talking with Richmond artist Chris Visions, it became clear his Candyman project was fueled by wanting change. As much as we want to say we're progressive, we're still a gray dressed town. Uh, and you can think about that in metaphors, you can think about that literally. Um, but it's nice to see some color on the wall, see some representation. Although today is a bittersweet moment as the murals are getting painted over, it still ushers in a new era of new paintings and new artists to come. Uh, so I think it's all out of respect for the people that were already there, um, but also just ushering in a new chapter into Richmond. According to event director John Bliles, a new chapter with new voices to be heard is just what the city needs. You know, every city needs to turn over a new leaf. And, and the great thing about this week has been the, the artists that I've met that I didn't know 10 years ago, and they brought such a different perspective and uh, level of energy and creativity. The RVA Street Art Festival has become Richmond's largest art door art gallery. In addition to hosting families and people of all backgrounds, the festival also gives back to the community. And this year, it's going to be uh, the Richmond Public Schools Arts Education programs that get the proceeds from the festival. Support can also be offered by purchasing merch at rvstreetart.com.